for sports. And the men's black belt championship coming up, and this one should be outstanding. With Tony Young from here in Atlanta going against nasty Steve Anderson here with the announcement of the fighters is our ring announcer, Neil Williamson. And now for the men's grand championship, black belt. Introducing from Atlanta, Georgia, the number seven ranked competitor in the U.S., Tony Young. And from San Diego, the four-time number one point champion, Steve Anderson. Well, I'll tell you what, this looks like a size mismatch to me. If I were Tony Young, I'd get on my bicycle and roll. Young won the super lightweight division today. Anderson won the heavyweight. Now, wait a minute. We were talking about that quickness advantage a little while ago. I think he's going to have to be quick just to stay alive yeah. against Nasty Anderson. Nasty Anderson is a four-time number one competitor. He is the outstanding tournament fighter in this country. Young with a lot of stutter stepping here at the outset. And in the center there is Jeff Smith, former light heavyweight world champion. Calling for points. White. Anderson from White. Southwestern. We have one point already out there for Steve Anderson. He's ahead 1-0. Tony Young showing a real good quick reverse side kick there. Calling the red. Red. White. No, not enough verification, no points. Scores 1-0 in front of, in favor of Steve Nasty Anderson. Anderson's an outstanding swimmer and wrestler as well. And a call for point? Nope, not enough. No verification. At this point, the action gets so foul. Quick front hand back fist there by Nasty Anderson. I saw it. Yeah, we got two or three of them here soon. That's another point for Steve Anderson. Just flashed across. For a man his size, he moves with incredible speed and quickness. Oh, no. Well, he just fell. On, just fell on Tony Young. I was fearful for him for a minute there. Anderson congratulated him and picked him up and said, okay, let's go again. Young is a computer programming major in college, and we'll need all the programming in the world to get out, get away from Nasty Anderson. I tell you, it's just be almost impossible for someone giving up that much reach to be able to overcome that and beat Steve Anderson. Got to give Tony Young credit. He's not holding back. He's going after Steve Anderson. We're talking about a super lightweight going against a heavyweight. He qualifying must, in the final. He must be giving up 80 pounds. That's the end of round number one. After the first round, the score is two to zero. We have one more round to go. We should mention that, as you see the scoring there, Anderson with two and Young with nothing, that, that Young is the number one super lightweight in the world. Well, he's done just a great job. He beat some awfully good people on the way through today. He beat Jeff Gears, who won the middleweight Very. division, and then went on to beat Larry Tankston, who was the light, uh, lightweight winner, in order to get the opportunity to meet this man, Steve Anderson. And I don't know if that's a good deal or not. you got to believe that, that, as we look at the replay here, that, that Young has everything to gain in this kind of a match against the much larger Anderson. I'll tell you what, that was a good, good move there by Tony Young. He did a jump front kick as Anderson was coming in with a punch, and they hit at the same time, so it was a clash. And yes, you're right, he does have everything to gain. If he can beat Nasty Anderson, he'll move way up there toward that number one slot. Good. Good spinning back fist and a punch there by Tony Young, and we've got another point. Another point for Nasty Anderson. Boy, this action is fast. You've got to really, don't blink, you'll miss three points. As big as Anderson is, he's awfully quick himself. Absolutely. Absolutely. He has to be quick in order to compete with these guys. <laughs> how, how he managed to stay away from Anderson there was almost beyond belief. Anderson's getting raspberry here for taking advantage of this little guy. Of course, you know, him being from Atlanta might have something to do with that. Of course, he didn't really hurt Tony Young. Man, it's just kind of scary him out of about three years' growth, though. It's a good right hand punched in by Anderson. Anderson patting him on the head, saying, good job. Four. 
No, not at all. The crowd really does not want a shutout here. They want their hometown guy. It's almost now a battle of whether or not their guy can score a point. That's right. I think any point at this point would be a moral victory, at least for Tony Young. Anderson leading three to nothing. Oh, just great timing and reflexes. Anderson reacts so quickly. Have a call for point again? No, still no point. I saw a body punch on Anderson's part, but judges didn't like it. Oh, nice front leg wheel kick. Interestingly, Tony Young says no fried foods or red meat in his diet. You got to believe Nasty Anderson has had some fried foods and red meat in his time. Well, you know, Nasty Anderson is also a weightlifter, and he eats a, uh, a bodybuilder's diet. Now, as you're spinning back this, I think that'll get the nod there. Red, 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 red at the bell. Tony Young with one point. But it's too late and too little. Yeah, but you got to believe that Young, even Anderson, I think, is happy that Young scored with that back fist at the end. The crowd on Anderson a bit, but he knows that he was in a bit of a tussle. And Anderson, the winner and the champion, winning by a final score of 4-1. to one. Nasty Anderson, the winner and champion again for the fifth time. He had been ranked four times number one in the country. More in the battle from Atlanta coming up.